This is Sandy Tankis for TOS50.com, and I'm here today speaking to Jackie Silverman, the founder of the New Orleans Women's Shelter, and Jackie actually is in New Orleans, and I'm in New York as we speak. Uh, hi, Jackie. Uh, perhaps hi. perhaps you, we can begin by you telling us what made you start a women's shelter. Thanks, Sandy. Actually, it happened without much thought in the beginning. I happened to be at the right place at the right time, right after Hurricane Katrina, and came across a rudimentary shelter that was housing women and children. The house had no hot running water, no beds. Women were sleeping on army cots or on the floor with their children, and meals were having to be brought into them. So I started by just helping out that shelter, and after about six months, they asked us to take over. And at that point, Dan and I didn't feel comfortable taking over that shelter because of the reputation it had in the city. So we thought very long and hard about it. We had raised enough money to run our own shelter for about four months. And so we made the leap to rent a large home in the same area. And we decided if it, we only had money to run it for four months, then that's what we would do. And if at the end of the four months we had to close it, then we had helped that many women for four months. And it was a leap of faith, and we have now had the shelter open almost three and a half years. How do women know to come to you? They, every organization in town has our number, as well as the internet, and as far as the, we also get referrals through the mayor's office and Harris Casino. Well, uh, do you use volunteers? We do use volunteers, Sandy. Uh, we have two, we've gotten to the point where we now have two paid staff, a director and a house manager, but everybody else that we use are volunteers. Some are stipend and some are not. Well, and what we do ask from our volunteers is you give a three to six month commitment and that you have some talent to offer the shelter while you're there. We, we offer off-site housing, uh, we pay for the rent and the utilities, and then they use their stipend for food. Well, if a woman wanted to volunteer to work in not, not just your shelter, but any woman's shelter anywhere in the country, who would you suggest they contact? Well, first I would suggest men or women who want to volunteer in a shelter for men or women go online and Google shelters in their neighborhood or in their city. And then go to those websites and see if what the shelters are doing is something that's going to interest them. Some shelters like in town volunteers to come by and read to children or do tutor adults with GED classes um, and others like ours do both. We use in-town and out-of-town people. But your best information is going to be co coming from the internet. Well, thank you very much. It sounds like you're doing a wonderful job and if anybody wants to learn more about the Women's Shelter of New Orleans and how you can help, you can click on the website below.